Because you asked and because of the great response last week, today, French makeup using all or mostly the Saint makeup, mostly. But for my friends outside of the US and Canada, I will talk briefly about Lamac Pro. They were the first company that got me into wax-based foundations and color correctors. And this is not as good in my opinion as the Demi, but it's, it's darn good and you can get it. They ship all over the world. So stay tuned for French daytime look. Hi, and welcome to my channel, Mature Makeup Masterclass. I am Michelle Spieler, an over 25 year professional makeup artist coming from Hollywood. I've worked in television, film, commercial, print, bridal, all the things. I now live in North Carolina. And one of my favorite things to do is educate women over 40 how to look and feel their best at any age. Um, I cannot believe the overwhelming response to the French video last week I did. If you haven't seen it, go look at it. It was called French Makeup Mature Edition. Listen, I, I'm hearing you loud and clear. Most of you want simple, minimalistic, the least amount of products but you still wanna look beautiful and you want your skin to look like skin. And so I told you I would come back and show you a French look with other products and many of you requested Saint. So I will use Saint today, but if you are in Europe or Australia or Asian countries, this is the, the brand that got me into wax makeups. It's Lamac Pro, they're out of France. They ship worldwide. I don't understand their color system you'd have to go on their website i found it was very convoluted to try to order colors for myself for my pro kit um it's not inexpensive it, it was just it was too troublesome but if you want wax based color correcting products like my demi by saint you can reach out to lamac pro and go on their website um i find the demi to be a little bit more pigmented and a little bit on the drier side so it really stays put but looks like sheen looks like real skin so here's what we're going to do today we are going to do a french look i'm going to do a red lip today but it's going to be a very natural red lip where are my here's my red lip it's going to be a natural red lip i mean not natural um it's I'm, it's not gonna be American red lip. It's not gonna be like precisely drawn and we're gonna do the contouring and the lip flip. No, we're not doing that. We're French, we're French. We don't have time for that. We are going to look effortlessly chic. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do my Saint 3D makeup, but I'm going to put it on super sheer. Now I've tried mixing it, I've heard through the grapevine that you can mix the Saint Cream 3D makeup and make your own tinted moisturizer. That was a debacle. It was so ugly, it balled up all over my face and it wasn't Saint's fault. It has to do with what you mix it with. You can't mix it with anything water-based. You can't mix it with anything that even has the tiniest bit of silicone or talc. It'll just make a colossal mess. Okay, so do you see how I'm going? This is Tatcha Silk Canvas. It comes in a lotion for maybe women who are more on the oily side. For me, I love it um, because it really creates this like flawless silk look to your pores. But again, I'm normal to dry, 54 years old. This is beautiful for me. It looks beautiful under Saint and 3D. I don't know if it'll work for oily skin because I don't have oily skin. And this is my personal, I don't use this one in my pro kit. For my pro kit, I use the Milk Hydro Grip. I use the Derma Blend Pore Saver. So you really have to stick to primers that work for your skin type and what are you trying to achieve? Are you trying to blend your pores in so that no one notices them? Then you need something that is a blurring primer a gripping blurring primer. Okay, so because I just freshly put that on, I'm gonna go in with my candle lit. Now candle lit is like the perfect light to medium neutral, okay? And I'm gonna put it on right there, just one area at a time. Watch this. And I'm gonna bounce it in 
because I want it to kind of sheer out and look more like a tinted moisturizer. And let me see close up. Yeah, I like that. I can still see a little bit of my skin showing through. French women do not wear heavy coverage. They just kind of even everything out, but they do not want a makeup y look. Now I'm going to do my nose and upper lip. So we are doing a French look today using Saint products. And unlike last week, which I used this beautiful, where's my Chanel? Oh, I don't even know where it is. My beautiful Chanel lip balm was on my cheeks and my lips. Today I'm going to just do bronzer on my eyes again and on my cheeks. Because when I wear a red lip, I want the red lip to be a star. I really am careful I'm really careful about competing colors on the face. Okay, so that might seem like I put a lot on, but I promise you, the way that I applied it really sheer and the way I'm bouncing it in, and you could put this on with your fingers too. You don't have to put it on with a brush and you don't have to put it on with a damp, blender, but I really find a damp, bouncy, look how bouncy it is, a damp, bouncy blender to me presses it into the skin and really looks like skin. And do you see, you can still see some of my skin texture showing through, some of my coloring, some of my freckles and sunspots. That's how you know you've blended it like a tinted moisturizer. But did you see how I did that immediately after moisturizer and primer? I moisturized right before I hopped on here. Now, I do not need powder. I am normal to dry. I don't like powder to show texture. If you need powder, let me tell you my very best. It Bye Bye Pores has been in my kit for 10 years. It is phenomenal. It is like so micro milled. You can't even feel it between your fingers. It is a blurring powder, which is why it is called Bye Bye Pores. This is It Cosmetics. You can get it at Ulta. You can get it on QVC. You can get it on It Cosmetics website. It is a blurring powder. It comes in loose or pressed. The next one I love, actually this is my favorite one for myself, is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. This is like, Again, you can't feel it, okay? I'm gonna show you the most beautiful powder brush I've ever had. This is the Sephora collection. Do not sleep on Sephora brushes. They are French. They were created by professional makeup artists. They are so well made. They feel luxurious. This was only $30. It is beautiful hair, beautifully constructed. Um, this is the number 79. It says it's a contouring brush. I'm not using this for contouring, but do you see how little it is? I'm just going to powder here just for kicks and giggles so you can see. Do you see how little that is? We do not, when we're mature women, we do not want a giant powder brush all over our face. We aren't 16 anymore. We need to just put powder where our pores are, where we need blurring, where we need to set the makeup so our pores don't drink it in. That's what a nice powder brush is for. And I absolutely love this Sephora brush. I'll put it in my, I don't make any money off of any of this stuff except Saint. Okay, I went ahead and took the liberty of doing my eyebrows. Last week I did a clear Kosas airbrow gel. This week I picked up the taupe airbrow gel. What I like about it is it's tinted and the Kosas airbrow, whether you get tinted or clear, they have tiny little fibers. So it goes into the brow hair and makes it thicker and fluffier. Yes, please. And then I also didn't want to waste your time putting on my eye primer. Today I'm using the Urban Decay. Um, it's in Eden, the color Eden which is more of like um, kind of a beigey skin tone. Look, I'll show you here. 
See that? The girl at Sephora said she loves it because it really holds her shadows and it shows the shadows true colors, whereas the regular Urban Decay is clear. And that's nice too. They even make one anti-aging. It's supposed to help with wrinkly eyelids. So I have that on. I have my Saint all over my face. Do you see that beautiful glow? Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Demi. We're gonna do Demi first. Again, if you cannot get Demi, you can always go to Lamac Pro. If you have red, maybe you need green. If you have a lot of blue and purple under the eyes, maybe you need this um, peach, and you can even use this darker peach on sunspots. Again, I don't really know how to read the colors. I think the peach is OR. But again, I'm not really sure you'll have to go on their website. I just don't wanna leave my sweet viewers out from other parts of the world. Okay, I am going in. with the green yellow one for my red areas. Not everyone is red under the eye. I am red and purple, so I'm using that green yellow number one under my, look how red I look, holy moly. What is going on? I get red in the outer corner. Notice I don't take it all the way up to lashes, the French like a little bit of shadow, natural shadow under the eye. They like a little bit of dark circles. They think it's very sexy. And in America, what do we do? We conceal, conceal, conceal. I have a little red and purple around the nose. I have broken capillaries. So to me, because Saint is wax and cream based, that's why I love the Tatcha Silk Canvas because it's wax. It's what Geisha girls used to use under their makeup. It's, uh, ja I think Japanese or Korean. Anyway, Tatcha is a super well-respected brand. It's really amazing. I absolutely love it. A little bit of, get a little bit of red down here. So I like to, but do you see how I feathered that on? I f so the red and purple is gone. Now, do you still see the dent? Yep, you always will. Why? Because I have dents. Why? Because my, uh, Eyeballs are sinking into my orbital bump. That's part of aging. We can't get rid of the dents, but look, we can get rid of the coloring, right? So now that I got rid of the yellow, I mean the red, I'm gonna go in with my peach, which is 03. And the peach is gonna go into my actual dent, see? Oh, that looks a little bit lighter and softer than that one. And I have a little vein under my eye. Isn't that great? Amazing. Again, if you live in US or Canada, you can reach out to me. I'll put my email in the description. You can reach out to me and get a free color match. It's absolutely complimentary. You're just gonna send me a picture of yourself barefaced, facing a window, basically a selfie just like this. Shoulders up, I need to see your whole face. I need to see what's going on on your face before I can color match, okay? And I'm not gonna do my sunspot yet because I'm gonna put bronzer on. So all I have on so far is a light bit of the Saint and Candlelit brows primer and, and Demi, okay? For some women that might seem like a lot, you don't have to use that much. I'm not telling you, you have to use that much. I'm gonna go in with Bella. It's a new bronzer I just got and I am absolutely crazy about it. It blends beautifully. I'm not contouring my face. French women might use bronzer, but they really don't contour. If they do, it's, again, so effortless. That's it, see, just like that. And then I'll go in. I noticed that in France, the women who use bronzer tend to be younger. I don't see the older gals using as much bronzer. They might do a light foundation or just concealer and powder. Um, I don't see a lot of bronzer on the older women. 
It's, it seems like it's more of a younger woman thing, but correct me if I'm wrong, because you guys are so good about educating me and correcting me. I don't claim to know it all. Just because I'm a Hollywood makeup artist or have been, doesn't mean I know everything about makeup. I know a lot, but guess what? I'm a lifelong student. I love to learn. Okay, there we go. That's it. That's all, look at that. See that pretty shine? I'm gonna bounce over it because I don't want even this much on. Um, again, I'm not contouring. I did a tiny bit on my nose. Not pretty. I mean, even that I could go out and feel very beautiful just like that. Not doing blush today because I'm gonna do the red lip. However, I am going to go in with that same bronzer. Sorry, I keep shaking the table. Gonna go in with the same bronzer, it's called Bella. And I'm gonna go into my eye area. Remember the French are all about less products. So how many products can they make work and multitask and multi-use it, okay? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That's so pretty. I've never used Bella on my eye. That's my first time, so you guys are seeing it here. Now, would I put creams and waxes on my eyes in the hot North Carolina humid summers? No, but we are in February. It is dry. I can get away with it. In the summer, I would just use a powder bronzer in my crease. I wouldn't use a cream bronzer. It's just too humid and we already get a little oily on our eyelids. If you get oily on your eyelids, guess what? It just means you're human. We all get oily on our eyelids. That's how God made us. He gave us some oily on eyelids. I don't know why. I'm sure there's a reason. Okay, so that's it. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do. Um, let me do maybe maybe a pinch more just because it's so gray and rainy out right now. I just feel like I want a little bit more of that San Tropez, San Tropez tan. Who remembers Band de Soleil? Ooh, I love me some Band de Soleil that orange gel SPF four. It's why we all have sunspots and wrinkles because we all use the Band of Soleil SPF four. Okay, I'm gonna go into my eye line. Last week I used a gel liner. Today I'm just using traditional pencil. It's a cold pencil. It's by Makeup Forever. I'm using dark brown. I'm gonna go right between the lashes. I'm not trying to create a line. I'm trying to create some depth. See, if I close my eyes, you don't really see a line. I'm just creating some depth. And then with my finger, I'm gonna smoke that. Again, we're not going for the perfect makeup by Mario, Kim Kardashian, makeup we're going for french the french like a little bit of messiness a little bit of undone did i wake up and look like this did i wake did i sleep in my makeup and i just woke up looking awesome and a little messy we'll never know because french women don't tell their secrets i love that and you can even go up into the waterline i love to do that Don't poke your eye out. Okay, I love that. And you could even take a little bit on your finger and smoke it messy in the outer eye, just kind of like that whole Angelina Jolie look. I love Angelina Jolie. She's always done her makeup so beautifully. In fact, I was really studying her photos this week. I think of any actress in Hollywood, Angelina Jolie probably does the most French-like look. She keeps her eyes very natural. She'll really emphasize her lash line, especially in the outer corner, and she smokes it. 
and then she does beautiful lashes and she does a more nude face and then either a nude lip or a red lip, but she keeps it really simple. And I really studied her this week. So I think we need to do an Angelina Jolie makeup tutorial soon, especially with the Oscars coming up. Not that she's probably in a movie right now, but okay. I'm gonna do my mascara and I'll be right back. This is the Thrive, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I love this Thrive mascara. This is only one coat, do you see? Can you see that? It's, it's beautiful, it's only one coat. I like the Thrive Lash Extension Mascara. It's a tubing mascara, some women don't. Uh, the Merit is on my lower lashes just cause it's easier. I'm not telling anyone to get two mascaras, but Merit is also a tubing mascara. And then last week I used the Double Extend by L'Oreal. This side is a white primer for lengthening and thickening. And this is the tubing mascara on this side. Can you tell I like tubing mascara? I love it because it doesn't come off. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge because tubing mascara only comes off with warm to hot water removal and they slide off your lashes like little tubes. It makes a mess in your sink, but I don't care. I'd rather have a mess in my sink than a mess on my face. I haven't had a smudge of, I, of mascara in really the two and a half or two years I've been using it. Um, so I love it. It's worth trying, it's worth trying. See if maybe get, you know, an under $10 tubing mascara by L'Oreal Double Extend and see if you like that concept. Um, but in order to get it this thick and long, like the lash extensions, you really need to use the white side. If you just want a really feathery, feathery soft lash, just use this side. If you want it to look more built up like this, look at that. It looks like I have fake lashes on. And sometimes when I wear the lash extensions, women ask me if I have fake lashes on and I don't, I don't, it just looks so pretty. Okay. We're going to do a red lip. We're going to do it differently the Amer than the Amer American way. I am gonna do a natural lip liner because for me, it'll keep the red from running. If you love to wear red or hot pinks or corals, but you've shied away from it because it goes up into all the lip lines, go watch my video on lip wax. It's literally mortician's wax. And if you put it all around your lips, your lipstick stays in place, okay? So I'm just kind of feathering that out with my finger. I don't want a really polished look. I feel like I need more bronzer up here. I don't want a polished look. I'm gonna use the Mob Beauty Red Lipstick because I love it. It's, um, I don't know if you guys know Mob Beauty, but it's clean, it's vegan, and they make reusable containers. So you buy the lipstick once and then you just buy the refills. Isn't that so smart? Okay, and now, Oh, I think this is their sheer one. Hmm. This isn't the one I wanted, but. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I wasn't gonna do that. I was gonna do more of a, like a Russian red, but I grabbed their sheer red instead of their matte red. But guess what? I'm not mad about this. This is beautiful. I love this. And now I'm kind of smushing it together because I don't want to have that perfect line. Isn't that pretty? What color is that? That is Mob Beauty. Gosh darn it. They put black on black. So I keep telling them, Mob, I can't read this. M21. Oh, well, I wanted a Russian red and I grabbed the wrong one, but that is so pretty. We are going to leave it because it's a sheer red. That is sheer red. That is so pretty. Oh, 
Last week when I wore this Chanel balm, I don't know where it is right now. I'm a mess, but when I wore this Chanel balm and I kind of smudged it, I felt, it's gonna sound so weird, I felt so beautiful. I didn't feel like I looked all like perfectly drawn on. I felt sexy. And I don't use that word ever. I don't like the word sexy. I don't strive to be sexy. Um, I don't think women should strive to be sexy. I think we should do makeup to make ourselves feel good. And if we get a compliment from our husband or boyfriend or a man on the street, we'll take it. But I don't do makeup for men. I do it for me. And when other women compliment me, that makes me feel so good. I care more about what women think than men think. But when I had kind of a smudgy mouth last week and kind of smoky, smudgy eyes, I just loved it. Like, look at the smudginess all around my eye, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look bad. It looks gorgeous. Oh, you know what we didn't get? We didn't get my sunspot. We're going to get my sunspot and then we're done. And we're going to, um, I'm going to do setting spray just because I love setting spray. But I have a bunch of veins up the side too. But anyway, what I really wanted to get was just sunspot. See how that's gone? Isn't that bronzer pretty? Okay, now I'm just nitpicking my face, so we're not gonna do that. Okay, I don't have my Charlotte Tilbury spray, which is my favorite setting spray, but I do have the Milk Hydro Grip spray. If you have to keep a mask on, woo, let me tell you. Last Saturday, I went out all day. I wore a mask. I did not use a setting spray. I was in a huge hurry last week. My mask was filthy. But if I use a good setting spray, I can wear a mask all day and the only place where I have color in the mask is like right on the inside of the nose. That's how well setting sprays work. They really work great. So what do you think? I love this look, just kind of a bronzed skin. You can still see my sheen. It's not heavy coverage. I barely used any of the Saint 3D. The bronzer's in my crease. I smoked with my finger some of the liners, so I just have a smudgy line around the eye. Nothing under the eye. Everything you see under my eye is my natural shadow, which the French embrace. They love it. Um, my lips go outside of the line a little bit, but it looks so cool. I love it. My brows are done with a tinted brow gel and not like a super penciled in look. Um, what else can I say? I don't know. I think that's it for now. I love it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want more content for mature women. And I will keep coming back. Like I said, I'll keep coming back and I will use different products to achieve different French looks. I think my next French look will be a little bit more of a smoky French eye and then a true matte red lip. I think that will be my next one and I'll probably use NARS for that. But when, when I'm asked what my favorite makeup is, I just have to let you know, that's like asking a mom who her favorite kid is, okay? Yes, maybe you're kind of partial to one, you would never admit it, but you know, maybe there's that one child you're a little bit more partial to, but you love them all the same. I love, I love Maybelline. I love Bare Minerals, that they're clean, but also high luxury. I love NARS. I worked for them in 2003, and I absolutely love the, um, the quality. I'm crazy about Charlotte Tilbury. Most of my pro kit is her eyeshadows as well as Mob Beauty eyeshadows. I absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I, in a million years, never thought I would try Saint. I've seen women use it for years. I wasn't remotely interested. And then I got hooked on Demi because as a professional makeup artist, the color correcting system made sense. And the waxes made sense because remember, I come from the French line La Mac Pro. And then I thought, well, if I'm gonna sell Dem Bet Demi and help women with Demi, then I probably should start trying their foundations, contours, bronzers. I love their shadows. I haven't even used those on camera yet. 
it, it's just, it's an exceptional line and so affordable. Um, so if you need a free color match, reach out to me, michellespieler at gmail.com. I will put the Lamac Pro for all of my friends outside of the U.S. And um, I think that's it for now. I'll see you next time.